I'm just making myself a stir fry because I have all this chicken I need to use. What I'm talking about with you guys today is my thoughts on the whole Last of Us 2 controversy. I just gotta pull this chicken out. It's out of frame, you can't see it, but. So obviously a lot of people are mad. And if you can hear the humming, it's because the microwave is cooking. I can understand where people are coming from. This is obviously a very, very big touchy topic. I watched someone play through The Last of Us a long time ago. I just finally played it myself because obviously there's nothing to do right now with quarantine and everything. I can see where the hype is from. It's a fantastic game. An amazing story. Pretty gnarly uh, gameplay. I'm not a person for uh, stealth games, but it got me into it. And that's something to say because if you ask any other person who watches me play video games, they realize I am not a stealthy player. If any of you haven't seen any of the spoilers or any of the leaked footage, uh, don't keep watching this video because I will address what I've heard. So if you don't care, don't watch now, wait about, what, 16 days from now and you're going to see it. So what happens from what I've heard is that someone's get, going after Joel with a reckoning, but after Joel and Ellie, and Joel gets killed with a golf club. And yeah, that's kind of unfortunate for the character. That's a, an odd way to die. And then apparently, they're gonna make you play as the character who kills Joel, as well as Ellie, it's like a back and forth. I'll give you one thing though. Joel isn't a good person. Technically what he does at the end of the game is for completely selfish reasons. He dooms the human race. Granted, was the human race even worth saving after all the shit you've gone through and all the people who shot at you first to try to eat you? Was there really any reason to try and save the world or was he just basically getting a second chance of being a father, which is really what the game is about. However, he kills an entire, basically wipes out an entire resistance group that was hell-bent on trying to save the human race. Anything that he's got coming to him, including the lie that he told Ellie right at the end, it's not entirely unwarranted. Is the means and how they do it a little bit odd? Yes. Are they possibly trying to put some sort of progressive message in it? With the inclusion of Anita Sarkeesian and how Neil Druckmann does not stop talking about her? Perhaps. So going to the Anita Sarkeesian and Neil Druckmann thing, Druckmann has proven himself to be a pretty good, decent designer. He's worked with Naughty Dog for quite some time. He's been there with the Uncharted. He was the writer of the first game. He was the writer of the last game, the designer too, which it's kind of an interesting concept. Usually you don't see that as much. Dan Hauser was the biggest one for the longest time for me from Rockstar. I know that Amy, Amy Herning was not a part of it and I've heard there is some interesting bad blood between Naughty Dog and her. Considering she finished Drake, she like Drake was her baby apparently and then it ended. Drugman coming in and finishing it. Yeah, I can understand there's a little bit of bad blood there. And then the whole Arnita Sarkeesian thing. I understand what she's trying to go for, but she comes across about it like a Plunky or something, whatever. He was on H3H3 and he talked about his interactions with her. And he says that you have a good idea. You have a good stance. However, you come across it. You're not appealing to anyone except who people who already agree with you. And that's what Anita does. And also she takes people's money and doesn't finish projects. Again, I'm for the idea of what she was pushing. And there are some designers and other people in the industry who do it a lot better. Amy Herning is one of them. Anita is not helping her situation except for helping bolster herself amongst those who already agree with her and helping the divide of those people who don't like her and disagree with her already. Instead of bringing people into the middle for a conversation, she just wants to have this argument and she will fucking bite you to the death even if you kind of agree with her but don't fully agree with her. And that's her biggest issue, in my opinion. And the fact that Druckmann constantly says that she's great is a little bit discouraging. And the fact that he gave her some sort of award at a game event, and the fact that she had something to do with Last of Us too, I'm a little bit skeptical because she doesn't know video games. She's apparently gotten a little bit better at it, but when she first started, she did it for money and for press and for PR and it's worked for the most part. I did love how CD Projekt Red shut her the fuck down though. That was great. Mm, it's good. I'm on the fence with whether their Last of Us 2 will be good. I understand that a lot of you out there are very, very upset and some of you feel betrayed and you feel like there is a bit of a progressive are sort of an agenda being pushed in. And if that does happen, I will understand. However, Druckmann has proven that he can actually take a little bit of a controversial topic, such as was Last of Us, and he can turn that into a 
very interesting narrative. Has Naughty Dog and Sony handled this entire thing horribly? Yes, I can 100% agree on that. They handled it fucking terribly. Copyright DMs and just basically shutting up people. Unless they were showing the leak, which legally they have the right to shut those down. Anyone talking about it, they, they can't do anything about that. They have to fucking ride that ship all the way until it sinks. But I think from a narrative perspective, the idea of playing as the person who kills Joel could could be a cool narrative aspect. Could it also be terribly wrong? Well, we bet you. Very, very decisive, very risky move. But like I said, Joel doesn't exactly warrant a good person death. While he did save Ellie's life, he also did it for completely selfish reasons. You just come after her. So yeah, that's my thoughts on it. I hope this stir fry turns out good. I'm kind of interested to see what you guys have to say. I've been seeing a shit ton of people talking about it. The quartering is milking that bitch. While I watched a few of his videos when I found out that he defended Hitler, <laughs> I was like, okay, you know, I'm sorry. You're a big fat fucking dub. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Sorry you can't eat this. I hope it's good. If you're interested in The Last of Us Part 2, all the power to you. I'm very excited to see how it turns out. I don't have a PS4, but my roommates do, so I'm hoping one of them buys it. I guess all I'll say is, you can say what you want about how Druckmann has addressed it. Troy Baker, I like Troy Baker. I've met him before. He's a nice guy. His video didn't help. Do not go after the game designers or the, or the, or the artists. Those guys have put so much time, and I'm not talking about Druckmann, I mean like just the staff of Naughty Dog. They put their heart and souls into those games. Even if you think that the story might not be good. Just watching that gameplay footage proved that it looks like a spectacular game from a visual and a design aspect. It looks great. Is there a possibility the story's gonna be shit? We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys later.